our think tank for tonight. Joining me tonight in Atlanta, Georgia, criminal defense attorney Eklund Mercy. In Los Angeles, California, former federal prosecutor Nima Romani. And in Phoenix, Arizona, criminal defense attorney and the attorney who represented Jody Arias and the author of the book series Trapped with Ms. Arias, Kirk Nermy. Thanks to all of you for joining me tonight. This is a true think tank, so I really appreciate you being here with me. So, Eklund, I have to start with you. Uh, first and foremost, um, what was your take on the openings? I thought they hit all the points they needed to hit and did a fantastic job. Love to get your thoughts. Oh, my God, Michael, I loved it. I loved mm -hmm. all of it. I love the defense's opening. I love it when they don't play small, they play big. I, he had a theme, but um, unfortunately for, well, you know, I'm not pro-prosecution, but the prosecutor kind of shot himself in the foot saying the firearm was so close. That meant that the vic you know, the alleged victim was really that close to the defendant. So um, I, I love it. I love just the fact that they are putting it in perspective for Edgecombe. You have the pictures to show that his hair is usually this way. And also to argue like, um, I see that people may have problems with his hair and he's been on the run, but he just killed a white man in Wisconsin. You know, he is literally like, you know, police could have killed, anybody could have killed him at that point. So um, I am interested to see how this attorney is going to make it make sense, how it's going to really close full circle. I can't wait. Yeah, Kirk Nermy, she's exactly right, and that was going to be my next question. Both sides seems to be using this idea that the gun was close to their advantage. And I, I, when, when the prosecutor was talking about it, he seemed to be 